city of Orlando, as I talk about sustainability, has found itself uniquely positioned to change the world. And we want to set that trend. We want to be the most sustainable city in the Southeast United States, so we're not afraid to be the point of the spear and have other cities follow some of the examples that we set. The vision the mayor has brought has made these things happen, and he is surrounded by staff that support him with that. I think a big overarching goal is to make facilities more resilient. Lowering our impact, it's made us stronger as a facilities management group. These inverters serve our 420 kilowatts of solar panels that cover this entire facility. It allows us to be net zero during the day and locks in our energy rate for 20 years. Our foundation for sustainability really began in the fall of 2007 when Mayor Dyer brought a team of us together and launched Greenworks Orlando. Greenworks Community Action Plan is trying to shape Orlando into a healthy, prosperous city by the year of 2040, including energy and green buildings, local food systems, solid waste, livability, water, transportation, and finally the green economy and how all of those initial six tie into job creation, economic development, and enhancing quality of life. So as an example, we are undergoing $18 million of energy efficiency improvements at 56 facilities. These improvements will ultimately pay for half of the cost of a new police headquarters. We have a commercial food waste pilot program that's running right now. We're taking food waste to a composting facility to generate compressed natural gas through anaerobic digestion. We could potentially use that to power our new garbage truck fleet. Right here is one of our early hydraulic hybrid units. That vehicle is saving approximately 52% in fuel consumption, just in the advanced technology in the drive system. This technology, which is the LVX LED light, this is a transceiver, and with a similar system that plugs into the USB port on your computer, your connection to the internet is actually embedded in the photon of the light beam. It's the coolest thing I've ever seen. We've ended up becoming a trendsetter. We have a lot of first. Getting engaged with connected cities through Lucid is one of those. Lucid is extremely excited to partner with Orlando and, and having them as an anchor city in the Connected Cities platform. Connected Cities is a technology-driven program by Lucid. It was a commitment to action to the Clinton Global Initiative in 2014 with the focus of helping cities and counties of all sizes unlock and automate their building data. The City of Orlando is committing to bringing all 550 of their municipal facilities online through Building OS. With a lot of these buildings, we've already plucked that low-hanging fruit. To see where we need to spend that next phase of capital, we need a more robust platform to be able to do that. Lucid Building OS as an energy management and analytical tool, it's a prime example of the types of technologies and softwares that are leading cutting-edge cities. And data is critical to that. You cannot effectively manage something you don't measure. We have over 5,500 meters worth of data that we receive on a monthly basis. The utility's ability to provide that data to us is a challenge. We have to manually enter all of that data in. So what we'd like to do is be able to automate that process, bring it into Energy Star, and manage what's going on in each of those buildings. Lucid is going to be able to take that data, sort it, analyze it, and put it into a format and fashion that when it comes to us, the decision making will be easy. Lucid software will help us in areas that might have been intuitive or speculative or guesswork, quite honestly, to know for sure whether we're reducing energy consumption. Having visibility over the progress and having access to tools that tell you what is the biggest bang for your buck is ultimately what will make cities successful. Lucid also provides the Connected Cities Exchange, a place for cities to be able to share best practices and get real help from their peers and colleagues. We don't know everything. You know, we know that a lot of other cities are doing great things, so we're looking forward to be able to see what other cities are doing and squeeze some more energy efficiency out of our buildings as well. The true efforts and actions are going to happen at a local level. They're going to happen at a community level, and cities are positioned to help provide resources and tools and enable markets to fully embrace being more efficient and more sustainable. Everything that we will do through Greenworks, everything that we will do through Lucid, everything that we will do through Connected Cities is going to make a better world, period. And we're going to save money. How can that be a bad thing? <laughs>